my beautiful tribe and I'm so grateful that you're watching this and yesterday we went through a journaling call we practiced gratitude through journaling here's a little bit of our call and some bits and pieces that might help you with your journaling practice and uh, the most takeaway for me from this call was uh, there was something about uh, the strategy so one strategy is to write down but another strategy that you can use is vlogging or audio recording your own voice if you do that for your gratitude journal so for example you'd be like today I'm grateful for waking up so early and doing my meditation if you record that on your phone or on your computer wherever uh, watch it yeah so that's my suggestion you can do it it's great but watch it afterwards so you can hear your voice, you can go through your gratitude again and get yourself in this beautiful, beautiful emotion. Like the journaling experience. So it's five things you're grateful for. And what is the most important thing there is to catch the feeling because we can often be like, okay, I'm grateful that I have, you know, I have house where, to, where I live. But if you don't feel it, it's like, it doesn't really make sense. It's like, yeah, it's, it's all right. You know, like I feel, I feel grateful that it's hot outside. Mm, maybe, but that can be very small things sometimes like, you know, a bird passes by and it has beautiful feathers and you're like, wow, it's so amazing. So to catch that feeling. So think about, we'll, we'll do practice today. So I'll talk a little bit, then you write, I'll talk a little bit, then you write, and then we'll see how, where we go with it. Yeah. So think about some things today. I know in Panama it's just morning and the situation is very different from Latvia, for example, but we're all in different parts of the world. So let's see what we put together from today. Like, where could you catch this? Like, I'm really thankful. I'm grateful. I appreciate something very, very much with the feeling. So think about three to five things. And that's, that's going to be your first entry in the journal today. I'm grateful for, and you're welcome to journal in your own language or you can journal in English. Um, what is if you do it in another language? It can sometimes be easier in a way to reprogram yourself. No, for me today, for example, I was very thankful that I could meet my two girlfriends. They live also in Germany, in Frankfurt. And for this that we are allowed to meet, that we are allowed to meet each other mm -hmm. again. And on the way to Frankfurt, I saw that the um, airplane was flying. So something is happening. <laughs> but again, the life, uh, <laughs> life, is, life is coming back. And I was really think, thankful for this today, that I could meet my girlfriends. I can go, I can drive by car, and uh, mm. so I can fly also to Latvia. And I was, yeah, this was my today, the, the biggest, uh, mm. let's say, th mo most thankful. On one another thing was to be honest, yeah. it's very very practical. Don't laugh, but that I was very successful. I ironed all my shirts. Awareness. Sometimes we we just take things for granted, and we know that we are grateful for it, them. But it's not like you are aware of it. It's it's something similar to what happened with uh, the pandemic, where you were we were very used to the basics for us. They were basics, go out, meet your friends, or your family, see your loved one, have dinner, go for a drink, uh, I don't mm. know, dance. It was just yeah. like the basic and we weren't aware that we were blessed to be able to do those things. So yeah. I think it, when I write things down, it makes me aware of, of what I have in my mind. That we added and looked at in journaling is what you would love to cultivate or make yourself more grateful of sometimes things that like I have a beautiful place where I live but you don't really feel that gratitude is you can write down and start cultivating that I was like okay I want to really like I want to experience this feeling of feeling grateful for where I live or that I have enough food you know the things that we we take for granted we know that we take them for granted and we want to improve we want to feel grateful for what we have so uh, the strategy is to write down and then from time to time just look at it as try to see it from a different angle um, and and you will find I I promise you will find there like little things and bits and pieces where you find the gra gratitude in what you before took for granted and thought like I should be grateful for that can you be grateful for being lazy I'll challenge you <laughs> I'm being lazy for too long now <laughs> I have mm. things I need to do, but I haven't done them because I'm lazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
think about with this one there is a we did also like a meditation exercise about uh, what what are the benefits of being lazy sometimes we're like oh my gosh i have to be productive but actually sometimes we're lazy and then oh but my body was resting so actually you know my body feels good now because i was running around so finding like a little tiny thing in that that's what we think you know oh i was lazy but what is good there so i challenge you on that one <laughs> okay. you also have my love what about you? I, what would you like to I, I cultivate gratitude for? I didn't do this. I want to be grateful for being productive. Everyone says that I'm so productive and I'm so whatever. Mm. And I'm like, I, I, I wanted to feel that it's a gift and not an obligation. Because it's like, mm -hmm. um, like you say, I, I don't feel, uh, you know me. I don't feel very well when, when I'm productive like i don't have the laziness very well for a moment think about one word how do you feel now after journaling i feel um inspired mm -hmm. so, you, so your word today is inspired yeah, yeah. <laughs> super is it okay to do it in different formats or, or like because I know the value of writing it. Like you already said that downloading it on paper can make you real. But I see all that, but how do you feel about that? Or and that's a really, really good question. If there are other formats of journaling, so vlogging, which is videoing yourself, recording yourself on a phone or on a computer, wherever, it's really good. I do prefer writing down there's something in a written word when you do it with a hand, but if you're not totally up for that, record yourself, but watch it. Yeah, so don't just do it. Okay, I've recorded my gratitude. Today I'm grateful for uh, recording this video, being with you guys on the call. If I record this in a video, I have to watch it. I have to hear myself saying this gratitude and appreciating the life that's, you know, like that's that going on with me. Uh, so if you audio, if you video yourself, make sure you watch it afterwards. Make sure you listen to it. If you uh, write it down, it's also a very good idea to read it. If you want to take it to the next level, read it, uh, read it to yourself in front of the mirror. So that's all for the journaling. Uh, for gratitude journaling, join the group. Uh, we're on Facebook. We're meeting once a week to journal together and I'm giving you props to journal. So this week is all about gratitude. We're going to do this for 21 days, the gratitude itself. And next week there's another uh, level of journaling practice that you're going to be given. And so, yeah join i'll be super super grateful for you to join the group and thank you for those who participated in the call you're pure magic love you <laughs>